It's been a busy seven days in Hong Kong racing. We saw Exultant last week take out the final Group 1 of the season, the Standard Chartered Champions and Trader Cup, while the night before it was international glory in Singapore for Hong Kong as Southern Legend made it back-to-back -back wins in the Kran G Mile. This is what we've got in store on this edition of HK Direct. And we're going to be hearing from Southern Legend's trainer, Casper Found to reflect on that win, plus revealing the winner of Masterclass for the month of May. It's been a happy hunting ground Singapore for Casper Founds. He's had success there with the likes of Green Birdie and Lucky Nine, and more recently with Southern Legend, making a back-to-back -back wins in the Kranji Mile last weekend. I caught up with Casper at track work earlier this week to reflect on his achievement with Southern Legend. It was a great weekend for us. Uh, it was a very um, impressive win. So we were all very happy, we had a great time down there and it was good to get the job done. From a training point of view, he looked on face value disappointing in Dubai. How did you get him to bounce back? Yeah, no doubt I was very disappointed for the Dubai race. Uh, I expected him to be first four. But luckily at least he picked up a check and paid his way, which was important, you know. Uh, he came back, uh, gave him a couple of weeks quiet and then when he came back to the yard after serving his time in quarantine, he was, uh, he was good. You know, he had bounced back, he looked really well in the coat. So I thought the race had come up on the program. I said, let's make an entry and see how we go. If he's uh, in good form, we'll, we'll take him there. If not, we'll just put him away for the season, you know. Without winning, he had had a good season running, obviously, beyond beauty generation on a few occasions uh, with a lot of merit. Anyway, it was good that he bounced back and uh, we made the decision to go and uh, it, was, it was great. It's Southern Legend. The legend will be reborn 12 months apart. He wins his second. Southern Legend easy. The fifth win in Singapore, Green Birdie. Lucky nine twice, this horse twice. It's been a happy hunting ground for you. It has. We've had a lot of fun there. It's been good. You know, the stake money has been, been on offer has been good. And um, we've managed to get the job done a few times. So, uh, you know, hopefully they'll continue to give us that race. But if they don't, we've got other options on the program for us. Your father was a trainer, Casper. <coughs> You're a fourth generation trainer. You had your two boys there, your wife with you on Saturday night. How special was it for you to be able to share that win with your family? Oh, something like that's always magic. You know, the, the, the boys are coming through now and they're taking an interest in the game. So it's, uh, it's nice when you can win these sort of races to really keep them, you know, interested in the game and, uh, and see what the good times are. And then you've got to come back and train a few slow ones here and, uh, you know, just to get the balance in life, which is good, you know. But um, by and large, I've been very happy. Uh, it's great that my boys uh, are taking a keen interest in the game now. So it's, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the future together. And in your career, you've travelled horses not only to Singapore, but also to Japan, Australia, Dubai. What attracts you to the international competition? Oh, it's just nice to, to, to see where you stand on the world stage with your horses, you know. I love to travel. I think it's great for horses to get them out of here. If they're at a certain level, you know that they're going to perform uh, pretty well with a lot of merit. Obviously, it's tough when you travel a horse. Uh, you've just got to hope things work out with them along the way. But I'm not afraid to take any horse uh, overseas for a trip. And, 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 you know, obviously with the stake money on offer. And sometimes your own backyard's pretty tough, you know, when you've got a couple of champions here to beat. You just got to look at the options elsewhere to try and uh, you know get some money for the clients. Just on the travelling side of things, you've won a lot of big races around the world. What's the one that you'd like to win though that you haven't? Well, you know, obviously I'm married to an Australian girl, Alex, and uh, and you know got a lot of family in Aussie, and uh, I love the Australian culture. I love the racing there, and the way people treasure the sport. They get really get behind it, and it's something I really want to hopefully have a chance to take a couple of really good horses there and, and, and see what we got and try to snag a couple of big ones there. You know, we, we, over the next few years, uh, you know, the world pictures, world stage is, is, is there for taking with if you've got the right horse that can travel and uh, you know, certainly be competitive. And we'd like to do that and see how we go. It was reported through the week in the Australian press this talk of you taking Southern Legend to Melbourne for the Spring Carnival. What sort of plans do you have potentially for him next season? Well, obviously at this stage, you know, I'd love that to happen, but we can't really plan with the quarantine uh, regulations that are in force. Hopefully that will be lifted within the next sort of six to eight weeks and then that'll give us a clearer picture where we stand. But in, that, in saying that, you know, we'll concentrate, uh, you know, in, in Hong Kong for December. We've got options with the horse. He's, he's versatile. He's shown that he can be effective at a mile and up to 2,000. So we'll just play it by year, see how he, how he comes out of the summer break and uh, we'll just go forward and see what we can do with him.
The other big performance from the weekend mightn't have been a winning performance, but rise high at $44 in the Group 1 here. You would have been pleased with that. Very pleased. I've always, I've told you boys before, I've had a huge opinion of the horse. I've always felt once he gets to sort of 2,000 to 2,400 is where we'll see the best of him. And, you know, it was a great run the other day, basically jumped from a mile to 24. It's pretty tough to do against tough. I mean, Exultant's one of the best stayers in the world, if not the best, you know what I mean? Uh, certainly in Hong Kong-wise, he's, he's a superstar. Uh, you know, on the world stage, I'm sure he's going to be very, very competitive. So for us to just get a short margin behind him off that prep uh, is certainly a run with a lot of merit. And again, looking forward to, uh, to December with him. And hopefully after that, have a chance to travel with him if, if the owners so wish. Would he be a cap or a vows horse for December? Oh, well, we make that decision. We'll enter him for both. We'll make that decision after the, the trial. You know, the 2000 trial will give us a clearer picture where we stand, especially with Exultant and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we'll just go forward, and I'm not afraid of any horse uh, with him coming into the into the future, because I think he's he's going to be a star. A final one for you this morning, Cass. But the trainers' ranks here in Hong Kong are changing. Douglas White's about to join. John Moore's not far off retirement. You're one of the younger trainers here. How do you think those trainers, comparatively, how will those changes affect you? Do you think, and what would you like to achieve before you in your career? Well, we've won three championships already, so hopefully I could win another you know, three or four before I retire, which I'm sure I will do. Um, it's so competitive, Hong Kong, as you know, you're restricted to the horses you have. You know, once they have niggling problems, you just got to learn to cope with it and get them through it, which is tough. Uh, we don't have the option to take them to smaller tracks for a soft kill. We just got Happy Valley and Shot in. We've got a rating system that's pretty tough. Um, so it becomes really hard, you know, once a horse has performed and done a a decent job it takes a long time to get him back down to a rating where he can be competitive it's getting tougher in hong kong once you race your horses more they get they're prone to getting more injuries uh you know chance to to have um a few problems along the way so it's just getting tougher all around you know but at the end of the day it is what we are we, we've got what we have to deal with and we just hope we can uh, you know crack on and, and be competitive for the next few seasons and Casper's good run of form continued on Wednesday night at Happy Valley, where perfect to play from his stable saluted while we head to the races on Sunday at Sha Tin with eight runners on an 11 race card. First commences at 12.15, trackside live coverage half an hour before that. The highlights of the Lion Rock Trophy Group 3 level over the mile and the finale, which is a really strong Class 2 sprint. We're also going to be simulcasting some big races from around the world on the weekend. The Derby from Epsom on Saturday night. The Yasuda Kinen featuring the Japanese wonder mare Armand Eye and the Prix de Jockey Club on Sunday night from France. For more information on all of that, you can go to the website. And make sure you follow us as well on Twitter. But that's all we've got time for on this edition of HK Direct. Thanks for your company. We hope you can join us next Thursday for the show. We're going to leave you with Masterclass for the month of May. Plenty of notable achievements. We could have given it to Zach Purton for his six-timer last Sunday at Sha Tin. Or to Master Trainer John Size for his 1,200th win in Hong Kong. But instead, we're giving it to one of Hong Kong's star horses, Exultant, who last weekend notched up his third Group 1 win for the season in the Standard Chartered Champions and Chater Cup and cemented his spot as the best stayer in this part of the world. Exultant's got a fight on his hem. He starts to edge clear from Pakistan star. Dark Dream and Rise High. The Vars, the Gold Cup and now the Champions and Chater. What an amazing horse he's become here in Hong Kong. Exultant, our champion stayer. It was a good, tough, strong effort um, from a horse that hasn't let us down all season. He's, he's been great all season. He's our best stayer and um, he showed that again today.